One problem with videos like the one you're watching right now is they're opaque. Uh, you know, they could go to, for 20 minutes, maybe even longer, and you don't know what's in the video. You don't know if it's really visually interesting or if it's all the same topic or if it's a talking head or if there's gonna be some guy jumping off a cliff right now. You, don't, you can't see that until you watch the video if you're on YouTube or uh, uh, any of the other video players. Well, VLinks has a way for you to preview the video and see four different views from the video and see it in a really nice display. And we're gonna find out what they're doing and why that's so important. Who are you? So my name is Hendrik Vandermeer. I'm president of VLinks and essentially I've got a family of two kids and a wife, and we take a lot of video. And so one of the things that motivated me in life was to, to try and figure out, and this is after I'd done a, a bunch of big company type stuff, to, to really figure out something that I could solve my own, one of my own problems. And that kind of led me to VLinks, um, to, to essentially be able to manage all these videos that I've been collecting of my kids and my family and my wife, and even all the video that I had from college and, and, and from my previous work experience, right? And so yeah. that, that's what I was really, all, what motivates me to get out of bed and actually go about doing what I'm doing at VLinks. Yeah, you know, I, one of my uh, favorite quotes and stuff on the wall on, on my studio at home is, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not delusional, I'm an entrepreneur. Right. And uh, you're one of those delusional ones because <laughs> you're going to take on YouTube and Facebook, two very big companies. And it, it's hard to, you know, for normal people to think about anything but publishing video on Facebook or YouTube. What, what makes you think you're gonna have enough value to rip our behavior away from those two big companies? So one of the things about Facebook and YouTube, they are very public mediums. When people post to Facebook and YouTube, it's perceived as it's kind of being out there. And one of the things that we really wanted to focus on with VLinks is, is to be able to share the memories in a smaller group, as well as just keep them completely private, but still have the ability to be able to manage those videos. I mean, the other key part of this is that video is, has got audio components, it's got video components, so it makes it a very emotional medium. So people just don't want that being spread out because it's either embarrassing moments or sometimes very uh, family oriented moments and that, that just is not appropriate for kind of the public distribution that, that YouTube and Facebook get perceived to be. Yep, no, that, that makes total sense. One thing I like about you guys is if I have a hundred videos of my kids, I can very quickly see what's in each video. Yep. You know, whether it's a ski trip or a beach trip or you know, just hanging out at a restaurant or just playing with toys, you can see uh, uh, four videos. But how did you come up with that? One of the things that we had problems with was, was trying to just find videos that we had previously taken. And it would take sometimes a half hour to find it because what you're finding is either you're looking at just a name, which could be like MOV105543, and which means absolutely nothing to me in terms of when I took it, what's in it. And the other part is, you, you, or you get to see kind of the first frame of the whole video, which in some cases is, has no clue as to what's actually inside the video and what, what's actually going. So what we wanted to do was actually get inside the video, find the foremost, and do it automatically. We do, we do it all of a sudden in our server, so yeah. the user doesn't have to do anything. We, what we do is we find the four most important scenes in that video and, and we take frames of those and then display it Brady Bunch style or window pane style so that you actually get four pictures so within a second of looking at that kind of window frame you, you know exactly what's in, in, that, in that window in that video so that you don't have to go searching okay is this the video where my son is riding the tricycle or is this one because we'll actually identify scene changes we'll recognize people from previous videos so we can prioritize future videos in terms of w what, uh, what scenes actually get prioritized and what frames within those scenes get prioritized. Um, we're looking at sounds, so clapping, obviously five seconds before clapping, there's probably something interesting that gives a good indication of what's actually in there. So we're looking at all these different mechanisms to really figure out what's inside the video so you don't have to do the work when you're scrolling through your videos to find something. I mean, the other nice part is we're uploading this to the cloud as well, automatically to your Dropbox account, to your Box account to your Google Drive account so that you don't have to go do it. It does it automatically and so that you can always, if heaven forbid something went down you always have uh, know that your videos are safe in some particular location that you've that you've chosen before so, so i upload my video to vlinks and it does the uh, uh conversion into the four separate uh videos that pr 
present itself, right? Yep, so it, in our app on iPhone or on Android, you actually can take the video within the app. So we use the, the normal video, uh, like an iOS video uh, app, application that's in the phone already, take the video and then we'll automatically upload it for you. Or in cases where you potentially have a lot of video on your PC or a lot of video already on your iPhone, you can take the camera roll and just say, click all, select all and do an automatic upload and we'll just manage that process because it's gonna take a couple sessions because video is big, right? I mean, yep. as you know, right? Video <laughs> is 50, gigabyte, 50 megabytes per 30 seconds. And so you've gotta really be smart about how you're managing that upload. And so we just do that for you automatically. And it's gonna take time if you've got 50 videos, but we'll get it up there. But if you take a video, we'll automatically put it up there and it generates that video summary. You share it on Facebook, you just keep it to yourself, you share it within VLinks friends, or you share it on email to whoever you want to on your email. And we'll, we'll, we'll send it in the same way that you see it, the video summary part, so that your friends don't have to waste time looking at a video if it's something that's not interesting to them. Does it go, hey, nice. And when I get the video and it has the four videos in there, I start playing, I see the four videos playing all at once. What if I wanna watch one scene? How do I do that? So yeah, you press the middle, it plays all four at the same time. We play one audio scene from what we've determined is the most important audio part, it, talking probably, but, uh, or, and, or you can click on any one scene and you can see that one particular five seconds with the audio of that one particular five seconds. Or double clicking, you can actually go stream it from um, your, your Dropbox account or wherever you have that particular video stored. Because we're not doing the storage, we're, we're just helping you manage where it's at. Because you could have video stored in Dropbox, Box, and Google Drive, so we'll know exactly where it's at, so you don't have to, right? I mean, that's the toughest part, is finding where these videos are at. So if I shoot one of, the, uh, one of these videos and I want to distribute it to my family group on Facebook, how do I do that? Um, so right now what you do is you, you, you look at our video on the home screen, you go into the, the video player page, and then from there you just press the share button, press Facebook, we'll automatically send it to Facebook. And the nice part is, when you share on email or Facebook, we'll actually track it for you. So you'll know which, which videos you've actually shared and where you shared them to. So that makes it really nice that, okay, did I share that with my mom already? Okay, yes, I can look and see, yeah, okay, that's, I shared it with all my friends. Or I just shared it with my mom and maybe my brother. And then, then, and then on that, Facebook, it uses the Facebook privacy uh, model so I can share it just to my face. Exactly. My Scoville family group. Exactly, exactly, list. yes. How do you guys get paid? Um, if so you're not YouTube, you probably don't have a thousand ad salespeople it, running around New York trying to sell ads for you, yeah. As you can imagine, I mean, probably the first part is partnerships, right? Because obviously we're not storing videos, so we're not looking to collect money from individuals on, for, for storing things, right? And so that takes a huge component of the cost out from us. Uh, but we can partner with any one of these storage guys and actually have kind of a deal where it's a revenue sharing deal. And we've already got one where we've... Um, put into a paper agreement in place in terms of, hey, if we bring them a customer because they, they get an auto, um, an auto sign up to that particular cloud storage account, um, then when that person transitions from free to paid because they cross over five gigs, then we'll actually get 20% of the reoccurring revenue on a monthly basis or a yearly basis, depending on when they get paid. So, so we're actually counting on our partners to really generate a good chunk of our revenue. We can also go down the freemium path. Uh, if you don't do a lot of videos, um, and you're just recording whatever, 10, 20 a year, it's gonna be free. I mean, we don't, it's not gonna be too much of a cost for us anyways. And so for us, scaling is not a problem. Um, but if you're taking a whole bunch of videos, maybe it's like a $10 a year type charge. But I mean, right now we're looking at kind of the partnership model is, is, the, is the primary area where we think we can actually generate uh, enough revenue to actually A, sustain ourselves and then B, B, be able to grow the business. Tell me a little bit about the company. How, how did you get funded and how many employees and all that sure. stuff? Um, so there's three people who are co-founders who came from Giggle Networks, which is a company that two of my co-founders started. Um, it was a company that was focused on chips, so a couple of us made some very big changes in terms of uh, where we've gone. But uh, that got bought by Broadcom for $75 million. Um, We left after we transitioned all the Giggle Networks sales and customer stuff, and was, uh, my, one of my co-founders was CEO at, uh, at, uh, at Giggle Networks. Once we transferred all the customers, then we essentially moved uh, on to try and do something ourselves. And, and this is when we finally said, you know what, we've done, we've done building products for other people, let's build something for ourselves. And that's kind of where we did. Uh, we have another co-founder here, Adam, who came to us, um, was an iOS programmer or engineer. Um, and so we essentially came together, developed the product, the idea, what we're trying to do to solve a big part of our own problems and then kind of help, help other people solve some of their problems that they've got. You brought up Android or iOS. Do you do Android and other platforms as well? Or tell me what platforms is available on. Sure, we're on iOS because that was our primary platform. That's what we launched in October. Uh, November, we launched on the Android platform. So we, 
we learned what we learned from iOS and then quickly applied it to Android. We ended up getting a developer in, in Spain, because right now we're 11 people total, eight people full-time, three people part-time. Um, and then we end up uh, doing some minor tweaks to get on Kindle, and then the other big launch that we had in December was the web app. So now we're essentially on all the platforms that most people use today uh, for being able to do internet surfing or be able to load apps or things like that. So it, you, we have access to all your videos, be it on your PC, on your phones, or on your iPads or, or devices like that. And yeah. we have, actually have a special app for the iPhone and a special one for the iPad. So there's a different configuration because we look at the usage models slightly differently. So um, hmm. in terms of... Well, iPhone is great for like you, you t you're taking your videos all the time, right? The iPad is good for taking videos, but people are consuming information on their iPad. So they're looking at their videos. They're, they're probably doing the sharing from the videos in a lot of cases because it's just a nicer screen to be able to do uh, and look at and, and be able to find things on. Well, like I said, the phone is more of a take and then do a quick share or something like that if, yeah. if you're going to do something with it. Very cool. What's the challenges for your uh, business? Did I did I nail them that it's to get people to consider you serious alongside YouTube and Facebook? No, or? that's one of the biggest challenges we've got is just getting awareness. Because and, and, and another thing is is we're still in the early cycle for personal video. I mean, people are definitely taking videos and storing it on their phones, but but people a lot more people are taking pictures. But as technology starts to to move and it's going to move quick. I mean, yeah. I know you're big on Google Glass, and we think that that's just going to explode the amount of data and in particular video that that people are going to be taking yep. um, th that people are going to need ways to organize all this stuff and so um, while we think we're a little ahead of that particular inflection point but we, we we definitely know today that there are people who've got issues with video because I mean as we see people downloading our app and the amount of videos that they upload I mean it's actually been a nice little growth since uh, since the October time frame so I mean yeah, but the biggest challenge is right now getting awareness of what we're doing so that people understand what we do and then understanding the problems that they can have. Because, I mean, another nice thing is if your phone gets lost or something, you lose all those videos half the yeah. time. So if you've got it stored up on the on your cloud account automatically, that's nice. That's an interesting question. Uh, um, uh, Facebook and Google Plus now are automatically uploading at least pictures, and I think yep. they do video as well. Do you, do you have an automatic update, uh, uploader like that to, to Vilex? Um, what we're developing right now is the ability to be able to look into your different cloud storage accounts and actually be able to automatically scrub them to try and find the videos and actually be able to do that whole upload process without having to re re remove them, right? Because your, your videos are there already. Yeah. All we need to do is summarize it, and then we just take the summary part into our servers, and your videos are still on your on your cloud accounts. And, and, and can we upload long videos? Like, we do 20 to... 60 map videos, can we upload that kind of length to, to buy links and does it work? So you said mag or you said gig? Uh, well, these things are big, like tw two gigs, right? So 100 megabits per second. Yeah, 100 megabits per second. Right now we're at a one gig limit, but we, okay. it's just an arbitrary limit that we put in there today. I mean, okay. so that's about 12 minutes worth of video. But it, there's nothing that stops us because we're not really, we're just helping transfer stuff to your Dropbox account and things like that. So uh, those limits are actually going to be more important. But we can help get around some of that too because we're able to do it from our servers. Where do we try it? <laughs> so essentially you can go to our webpage, www.vlinks.com, V-I-L-Y-N-X.com. Um, from there, the links to all the Android, iOS, and the web apps there as well. So I mean, uh, it'll get you everything you need to, to get started with VLinks. Start cool. your uploading process. Thank you so much for coming out and showing it to me. It's hey, really I cool. really appreciate it, Robert. Thank you.